So the next thing I'll talk about is pollination hives. So a lot of beekeepers are now getting you know, half or more than half of their income from providing a pollination service, particularly to almonds and uh, you know, other crops, blueberries, raspberries, uh, things like that. So I'll do this fairly quickly. So the important thing is you know, to have the hive so it wants to collect pollen. So what makes bees collect pollen? What makes bees collect pollen? Don't know where you're going to put it. Take it to the kitchen. Yeah. So bees need to collect pollen because pollen is the transfer, pollination transfer of pollen from the anther sigma, the flower of the same species for pollination to occur. So what's going to increase the amount of pollen coming into this hive? Flowers, yeah. More brood, okay, so more brood is one thing, right? Okay, so, so more brood, therefore you need, you know, a lot of young workers in the hive to go out and become field bees. And what the bees do in the hive is that depend on the need of the colony. So the best way to make bees collect pollen is to have a lot of unsealed brood in the colony. So if you've got unsealed brood in the colony, the bees have got to feed that unsealed brood. So there's a patch of unsealed brood there, and that frame there, and that frame there, as opposed to cap brood. Because it's unsealed, there's a real heavy demand on royal jelly and protein in the brood food to increase the longevity of the bees. So you need to have hives where there's young queens. So young queens lay a lot more eggs than old queens. So you need young queens and a good percentage of the frames with unsealed brood. So the bees have got to go out and collect pollen, which then increases and enhance as the chance of the bees, more of the workforce collecting pollen. Is that fairly clear? So you try and put in, you know, you've got to have a young queen in your hive and you know, encourage the queen to breed and have unsealed brood for the main pollination period, which is probably about three weeks. So you need about four or five frames. You have unsealed brood in the hive, the rest can be sealed, and you need a strong colony. Most people use singles for pollination now, so the hive's kept warm, and that encourages the queen to lay and have more brood, provided there's room. So people will take out frames of sealed brood and put in frames of unsealed brood to encourage the queen to lay in those frames that they've put in with no brood in them to increase the demand for pollen. So is that fairly clear to everyone? So beekeepers get yeah, about $100 a hive to pollinate crops, sometimes more, sometimes a bit less. So, and it comes at the right time of the year for them to get a cash flow, because most of the pollination is in the early spring. So is that fairly clear to everyone? Okay, so any questions on pollination? That's a rapid, quick course. I was gonna make a pollination hive up, but we really run out of time. Okay. Yeah, some feed sugar syrup to generate heat in the hive. Thin syrup, so thin syrup stimulates colonies to breed. So if you've used 50-50 sugar and water, that'll stimulate the colony to breed. But you've got to be careful you don't give too much. You've got to leave enough room for the queen to lay the brood as well. So it's a balancing act. So a lot of people do feed sugar syrup, particularly in early spring, to generate heat in the hive because there's always pollen available, and most crops that are pollinated are rich in pollen. So the bees need that early in the spring to build up their colonies, as Michael Syme showed this morning when he gave his talk there. Okay, so let's cover that. Yes, yes, yeah, if there's no pollen comes into the hive, the queen won't lay. Even though, the, I've seen hives full of honey and no brood in winter. On, on the thing called mugger iron bark, because the bees will keep collecting, 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 and there's no room for the brood, and there's no pollen coming in, so the queen stops laying, and the hive dies out full of honey. That's possible. It has to be inbound pollen, does it, Bruce? Yeah. Inbound pollen that's coming in, not, not feeding stored, stored pollen. 